Okay, this is just a quick video on steel. Not a complete video, but a quick video on steel. Give you a rough idea of what happens. Okay, here we have uh, some trench mesh to how it would be denoted on a plan. I'll just switch over to a little cursor. Hang on, here we go. All right, uh, you have five bar, four bar, three bar. You have your crossbars and denoted on the plan, these would be either 11 mil or 12 mil, and these go in the trenches, and trenches would be according, uh, cut according to the size. This would be a 600 trench for this steel, 450 and 300, and that would leave enough air space on each side of the steel that when it's in the trench to uh, place concrete around in case the steel in the concrete. Okay. Here we have what a trench would be drawn like on a set of plans. You have your sand, under here would be the dirt. I didn't, you know, put little dots and make it brown because I couldn't be bothered. This is your concrete material here, and this is your steel in the trench, how it would be denoted. It's on chairs. Your chairs would be stated on the plan, which would give you the height of these uh, uh, chairs that go either top bar, bottom bar, high chair, low chair. It would place the steel according to the engineering at the right place, providing your base is done properly with levels. In the trench, you would have your trench mesh and you get the air space in between there when they're dug perfect. It's all encased in concrete, prevents corrosion of the steel. Then you would have like, basically this is a waffle pod. Now internally, we all know 12 mil bars go internal but you would also have if it was called for a denotation on these red bars which would be the 12 bars tied to the top of the steel it could be in every rib or it could be just in certain ribs you would have to look on the plan to verify the placement of these bars then there's the step downs I couldn't be bothered drawing those but that's roughly the idea of it also on all plans usually have a line hatched out like this across the job it'll denote 125 mil 100 mil 125 mil that would be a suspended slab obviously because it's greater than 600 fill um you know it, it's all about reading the plans and the notations on the plans that gets the job passed and done right properly the first time now other forms of steel would be a in a step down situation would which would be roughly denoted like this on a plan and you would have an L bar which is this black section here which would be tied to the bottom up through this section of mesh here and then tied to the top steel your board would go I'll draw a board quickly so somewhere here that would be your board in the middle of that trench concrete gets poured up to that it's all tied and engineered into each other and basically that's how it's done all right thank you for watching